<laughs> right. Let's see if the stream works now. Just firing up on my phone so I can see how jerky it is. Bear with me one second. Right, we're live. We're good. Right, we're on. Right. Um, today I'm trying to show you that I've got Mafia 3 running much better on my HP Omen 2017 with the GTX 1050. In fact, I think I may have fixed the stream. I think Windows 10 game mode was taking too much processor away from the uh, OBS. So, yeah, I was running it in Windows 10 game mode because I'm running the beta of the creators up. So, anyway, right, I've got this game running loads better. Um, last night I was running it in global preset medium and running at 900p. I was sort of hovering anywhere between 32 to um, about 50 frames a second. Well, on here I've changed a couple of settings because I did a little bit of digging into it last night because I know this game is horribly optimised and can bring graphics cards more mightier than mine to its knees. So, um, yeah, I had a look around, and um, basically the PlayStation 4 is running at 1080p, and the Xbox One is running at 900p, both locked at 30 frames a second, and both set to what would be the equivalent of PC low. Um, and then I went on to read that the biggest killer of frame rate in this game is the reflection quality and anti-aliasing. So I tweaked around a bit last night, uh, well, when I woke up this morning, sorry, and I actually got my frame rate to be a minimum of 40 frames a second, um, sort of hovering at anywhere between like 40 to 45, sometimes going up as high as 50 frames a second. And this is, and I've actually been able to increase my resolution. I was on 900p, now I'm back to 1080. And uh, I've actually got some stuff turned up as well so I'm a medium for most things and I'm just low for reflection and low for anti-aliasing and providing this stream is going out and doesn't look jerky as anything you can see that it's actually a much better gaming experience and in fact I'm not seeing any jerkiness or anything on this game at the moment uh, just playing it like this so um, and the, oh, no, the stream is still but not as bad as it was earlier um, but yeah the frames uh, I have managed to basically sort out and literally it was just by turning two things to low and even then it doesn't look terrible and uh, it all fits in with my uh, narrative when I said about the Omen live with it a month on but you're going to get at minimum PlayStation 4 Xbox One performance out of it you know, depending on how optimised the game is. Well, this, we're currently at above PlayStation 4 performance. Um, it, it, as I said, it doesn't feel like it half the time, but yeah, we are actually set to above PlayStation 4 level on a game that is, well, let's face it, completely and utterly terribly optimised. So, um, yeah, that's basically all I'm trying to show you in this uh, stream and recording. I'm hoping the stream is uh, a lot less jerky than it was, but uh, my frames at the moment, if you keep an eye on my top left, of just hovering, and bear in mind I am streaming, which is taking obviously my some of my performance away, and I've had to disable game mode, which I had enabled prior, which does make a little bit of difference in some games. But yeah, my sh my my performance is up to 40 frames a second. In fact, it's a lot higher than when I was streaming at 900p last night. And that's all because I just turned reflections down. And, um, yeah, I turned reflections down and, and the alias and down as well. So, yeah, two little settings. And you've got a game what now actually uh, was sort of just playable to now being actually fairly decently playable. So, uh, yeah. I see some drugs here somewhere. Hello, cat. What do you want? What's that button, dude? Ooh, open some doors. 
But yeah, I'm sort of hovering around 40 frames a second, no problems at all. Bear with me one second. Let me just go sort my cats out. They're having fights at the moment. Oh no, they've stopped. They're completely trashing under my TV stand though at the moment, the little buggers. Ah, the drugs must be upstairs. But yeah, problem is with this game, I don't even see where it's going though. You know, it, it's it's so horribly optimised. I mean, it doesn't look like a very good... It doesn't look very good graphically. Yeah. Uh, I was reading, as I said, the same article what sort of said, explained how to get the best out of this game, was saying the GTX 1080 uh, gives you the same frame rate playing this on 1080p high as you would get playing Grand Theft Auto on 4K with anti-aliasing turned on. So, and Grand Theft Auto uh, is a, a not a bad looking game. So, I would actually say, in my experience, Grand Theft Auto probably looks better than this. But quite significantly better as well. But, yeah. Just to show you that this game isn't completely unplayable on this laptop. So, a can a budget gaming laptop of 2017 run a complete flipping beast of a game which has brought more mightier graphics uh, cards to their knees? Yes, it can. And actually, it is running it fairly well. I'm hoping the stream isn't as jerky as it was earlier. I don't think it is, so... Yeah, it's show it should be a lot better. I'm having to use OBS to capture this because uh, Shadow Play won't work. You fire up Shadow Play, and uh, yeah, it bloody uh, when the minute you press Shadow Play, it just exits out of the game and flipping uh, takes you back to Steam, and then it says, "Oh yeah, support game is needed to uh, run Shadow Play." But yeah, but yeah, as I said, I. You know, with, when I'm not streaming, I can pretty safe, much safely say yeah, I can add five more frames a second onto this. As I said, because uh, OBS is taking some of the performance at the moment, even though I'm using the hardware encoders. So, yeah, look, 45 frames a second there. So, it's, as I said, it's... Uh, Gone from hovering just above 30 frames a second in uh, 900p last night with uh, everything turned to medium to uh, being well into the 40s now uh, at a higher resolution at 1080p with just the reflections and the anti-aliasing turned down a bit. So, yeah, take... So if you were on the fence about getting this laptop because you really wanted to run Mafia for whatever bloody reason then, uh, yeah, I've just proven that, yes, you can play it on what is equivalent of a base model laptop of this year. So, uh, yeah, let's steal this car. I am so bunged up with a cold. It's so flipping awful. <laughs> I wouldn't want to stream it and play it, though, because, as I said, the stream is taking whatever little performance gain I did actually get out of it. And plus, the stream isn't very pleasant for you guys to watch at the moment anyway, because when I have high load uh, scenes on here with high CPU load, the stream starts jerking like mad, which is never a good thing. And the fans are proper going on this. But they're not overly loud. You know. But they are proper going now. <laughs> My driving this game is useless. Be interesting to see what Watch Dogs 2 plays like. Watch Dogs and Watch Dogs 2. Because I've heard they have a bit of uh, graphic hogs. So it'd be interesting to see how they play. But I'm not going to pay... 25 quid for Watch Dogs 2 and fucking 40 quid for no, 25 quid for Watch Dogs and 40 quid for Watch Dogs 2 I only got this because it went down to 11 quid yeah, I wasn't going to pay full price for it so, uh, yeah but it just show, goes to show how bad it must be selling and how bad 
the performances on the PC for this game if they're having to aggressively put it on sale so early on. Because this thing only came out, what, October last year, something like that? It wasn't, it isn't that old. So the fact is they're having to aggressively put it on sale, you know, so early just goes to show that it's not a very good, not a very well optimized game. I'm sure the story is pretty decent so far. Like the, the few minutes of missions I have done, the story hasn't actually been that bad. So, you know, uh, I'd be, in, be interested to play the whole story through and see how good it is. I like this because I can. Oh, the bloody cats are having a fight again. One minute. Oh, you know. So, yeah, I think I'm going to call it the end of the day on the stream here. Uh. Ditch OBS, restart the game and start actually playing the story through and I'll turn game mode back on to give me that extra two frames a second which on a game like this that extra two frames a second is worth every minute of game mode but yeah, thanks for watching and uh, I will try and stream uh, some more games whenever I get a chance bye bye